he. So I am starting right with the problem. See, so I will give you the mantra for solving maths problems. Okay, it's not the, it's not the great. It's a just common sense stuff. Okay, mantra. If you want, you can write it in your notebook. Mantra is step number one. Read the problem carefully. First time you read, you don't understand. Read again. Then also you don't understand. Read again. Read the problem carefully. Is the mantra number one. Mantra number two is if the problem is complicated, make a diagram. If the problem is complicated, make a diagram. This is a simple problem. This has only two parameters. You don't have to make a diagram. But when there are complex problems, there is a triangle and triangle has two sides and there is a line intersects the base and that makes an angle of so and so. Then it becomes complex, right? Don't try to do it in mind. Make a simple diagram. In this problem, it is not there. You do not draw football and all those things. Okay? It is not relevant. Okay. Now, the third mantra is, what all are the parameters given? Write it at the correct place. If it is a triangle, write it in the right side. Angle, mark it in the right side. Mark it. Then, from whatever is given, start trying to find the unknown things. You may not get it sometimes. The first you try some method. Let it be wrong. Don't sit at the problem and think like this award winning movie so as if like the heroine has died and the hero is sitting. You know, don't sit like that by looking at the problem. Just try doing. So even if you make errors, you will find some way. But if you just sit at the problem, look at the problem, nothing will happen. Yeah, yesterday's web series will go through your mind. The fight which you had with your classmate will go through your mind. <laughs> okay, all those things will come. <laughs> the, the problem you will not be able to solve. So now onwards, this is the mantra. And then, once you get the answer, last mantra, cross-check the answer. Always cross-check. There are many methods to cross-check. Let us see who all of one. Sir, is it morning and evening together or morning one and uh, one hour? Yeah, yeah. So, so that is what you see. Uh, how do you get that? Whether it is uh, so, the Havish asked the question is that one and quarter, one and one by four, morning alone or morning and evening together? How do you what is the clue to that question? Sir, Adil, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand, uh, Havish. Uh, Adil, what is the clue? How do you know whether it is only in the morning or both morning and evening, one and quarter? How do you know? Each in the evening. Each, you see? That word called each. So that word called each is the clue. One and one and quarter each. So if you are telling Yash and Ashwadi spent 50 rupees each, means each of them has spent 50 rupees. If we tell Yash and Ashwadi went together for a party and they spent 50 rupees together, then it is together. Or in total, then it is together. This is each. Okay, so many together. So one of you had uh, to explain who has got Adwaya. You explain. How did you do it? Okay. Okay, sir. So hmm. basically, you, you have to first multiply 1 by 4 1 1 by 1 1 by 4 into 2 so it becomes uh, a final number so why did you multiply to get the total hours per day uh, right so mm. to get the total hours per day you multiply 1 and 1 by 4 into 2 so you got it as what yeah so you first multiply 1 which is going to become 2 and 1 by 4 which is going to become 1 by 2 <laughs> Uh, so it became two and a half. Okay. Yeah, it became two and a half. So now <laughs> for uh, for two days it's going to become five. Let's have a whole number. Let's so don't have, uh, let's not have decimals and stuff. So five and there are uh, the like you can take six for example. So it's going to become fifteen, and then you uh, add another half, which is uh, going to go to the add, and it's going to become half. Okay. So how did you do? Let me ask somebody else. 
Uh, Bob, uh, Harvish, how did you get 16 and a half? Tell me. Sir, I multiplied 1 into 7 and then the numerator of 4 into 7. And then I like made the whole, like took the whole the set and then I doubled it. Hmm. Okay. So different students are doing in different methods. Okay. Adil, how did you do it? First I got two and a half by adding one hmm. and then one, one by four and one by four. Yeah. yeah. And then two and a half into seven. Okay, so, to, so uh, according to me, that is the simplest method. 1 and 1 by 4 plus 1 and 1 by 4. That is morning and uh, yeah. evening. So you get 2 and a half. Now 2 and a half into 7. Actually, you can do it in mind normally. It was 7 into 2 is 40. 7 into half is 3 and a half. Either. Or 2 and a half, you can make it into a whole fraction. 2 and 1 by 2 is 2 into 2, 4 plus 1, 5 by 2. 7 into 5 by 2 is 35 by 2. That is also, if you write 35 by 2 also, it is correct. Sir, how much wide is that sample? How much wide? Oh. No, uh, the saplings uh, width uh, will be negligible. Don't consider it. It's just like a plant, no? So that you don't have to consider anything for it. It's root from root. Yeah, yeah, root to root. Sir, I didn't understand this problem. Problem is you are uh, putting seeds, okay, plants. You are you are uh, planting trees, okay, saplings. So you have ten saplings. One sapling, next sapling, next sapling, like that in a line. You are putting saplings. Right? The distance between two saplings is half meter. Half meter from one between one and two, two and three half meter, three and four half meter, like that, like that, like that, you have put it. So what is the distance from the first sapling's root to the last sapling? Angal. Yes. Actually, why do we have to put this much, uh, like, width between two saplings? No, that is a problem. This is not science the class. This is maths class. So that is just a... Uh, just a problem, right? Sometimes some trees, what will happen if the tree is going to become big, like a um, uh, mango tree and these things like that, you will keep even more than half meter, which is the truth of the science part of it. Like even if it is a jackfruit or if you have plum like that, you know, you will keep uh, the higher distance and the trees which actually, which are the ones which don't become like grow that big, like flower, this kind of stuff, you don't. But here, that is not the point. So for those who got five, you should understand between first and the last, there is only nine, right? Ten saplings are there, but the gap is only nine into half for an hour. Okay? So I hope now, like all of you are following this standard method of doing one-fifth of it, which is the easier method. Because if even if you calculate 4 fifths of 80 and minus it from 80, you will get it, but it's one step extra. So if you know, if 4 fifths of something is already spent, what is remaining? 1 fifth is spent. Is it not? So you straight away calculate. Right. Good. So now this is an assignment for you to go and think and then don't give me an answer now. So if you multiply two fractions, what will be the answer and why? Will the answer be more than both the fractions or less than both the fractions? Try for different cases. Fractions less than one, how it is working. Fraction more than one when you multiply, what happens? Do some, take some two, three sample fractions and try and see what is happening. And they may make your own analysis. Now coming back, the last portion of the fraction. Very, very simple stuff. Quickly tell me, unmute and tell. How many halves? Half acre plots. Two, two plots two. can be made from one, one acre. acre land. How many half can be made in one acre land? Two, two. right? It's nothing. 
It's a very straightforward stuff. If you have a, a, a one acre land, like you can, if you if you cut it, it will become two, right? Two half, right? So what is actually we are doing? What, what, how did you get it? How did you get two? Because we'll multiply one from that half, so one will be one and we left two. Okay, but how did you actually get that number two? I gave you only two figures, half acre and one acre. I gave two figures, half and one, but you got two as an answer. What did you do? What operation you did in your mind? Multiplication. Of what? Yeah. Multiplication of half with what? Actually, I did um, like a division. Division of what with what? Like one divided by one by two. Adil, you multiplied half with what? With one. With one, half into one is half only. How do you get two then? So, actually speaking, you all divided. Oh. All of you actually divided. But that is like the problem I told yesterday. Half into A is equal to 1. What is A? Yes, it is a very simple problem. You got A is 2. Right? As it is a very simple problem, you got A is 2. Or like half plus half is 1. That is actually half into 2. Divided by half. Yeah, but actually what you did is you are you try to find in one how many halves are there. That is division. One toffee is two rupees. In ten rupees, how many toffees you can buy? Unmute and tell one toffee is two rupees. In ten rupees five. with ten rupees, five. How did you get it? I divided two by ten. <laughs> no, you did ten by two. Oh. <laughs> Right? It is 10 by 2. If, if one toffee is 32 rupees and you have 32,555 rupees, how many toffees you can buy? You will divide 32,555 by that, right? This is a division. But when the problem is simple, you will get the answer quickly. You are thinking you are multiplying, but actually you are dividing. Okay? So here actually what you did, it is the same toffee problem. In 10 rupee, in 10 rupee, how many 2 rupees are there? That is division. 10 by 2. That is what is the problem. One toffee is 2 rupee. In 10 rupees, with 10 rupee, how many toffees you can buy? Actually, what are you doing? In 10 rupee, how many 2 rupees are there? That is division. 10 by 2. Okay? If I tell, if one toffee is 16 rupees, and you have 1855 rupees, how many toffees you can buy? 1855 by 16. You are trying to see in 1855 how many 16s are there. That is division. Okay, so here what you did, you divided one with one with half. One divided by half. In one, how many halves are there? And you go to just two. So how we can get two from one and one and half? Now you think, how you can get 2 from 1 and 1 and half by algebraically? So 2 is in the denominator here. Na? 2 is in this whole, there are only 2 players in this drama. 1 is 1 and 1 is half. But the answer you got is 2. But 2 is actually the denominator here. So when you divide, what is there in the denominator comes to the numerator. Because is, if you divide 1, 1, it will be 0. Two, then it will be left to no, 2. No, if you divide 1 and 1, it won't be 0. If you divide 1 and 1, it will be 1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but why it is happening? It is happening because you are dividing something into two pieces. 1 by 2 means what? You are dividing something into two pieces. So now you are asking in 1, how many divisions you can make? Two divisions. So 1 by 1 and 1 by 2 is actually what are you doing? You are multiplying 1 with reverse of 1 by 2. Reverse of 1 by 2 is what? 2 by 1. Ulta. So you know the answer is 2. 
by mind math. But algebraically, what is happening is this denominator 2 becomes numerator. How? You make it ulta. So 1 by 2, you make it 2 by 1. What is it called? Algebraically, when you make ulta of a fraction? Multiplication. No, the reverse of a fraction. What is it called? Reciprocal. Yeah, it is called reciprocal. See, the word English reciprocate means, you know, you do the favor. I, in my birthday, I went and gave a cake to Yash. In his birthday, he reciprocated, means he gave cake back to me. That is reciprocate, reciprocal action. Right? So, this is upside down you are making, that is called reciprocal. So, when you divide, actually what are you doing? You are making it ulta, this denominator becomes numerator. Why it is happening? That you know by seeing this picture. Right? It will be easy for us to like... Uh... Two. Sorry. Yeah, algebraically. You see, how many how many one by four acre plots can be made from one acre? You will tell like this, I know. How many quarter acre plots can be made from one acre land? Four. four. Because you know, in one acre, there are four one by fours. But why it is four? Is, I mean, because four is in denominator. But then, the question is what? If you are making one plot, into four pieces. If you are making one cake into four pieces, you are asking how many pieces will be there? Four pieces will be there. <laughs> so, whatever is there in the denominator is the number of pieces. So, when in division, what is happening is whatever is in the denominator of the fraction is the number of pieces you are making. Division means what you are asking if I divide one into four pieces. How many pieces will be there? Four pieces will be there. Straightforward. Right? Do you agree? All of you? Yes, sir. So, there is nothing complicated in the division of fraction. It is just that the denominator actually comes to the numerator. Right? It becomes 1 by 4 becomes 4 by 1. Now, what happens when there are more than one cake? How many one by three size pieces can be cut from four cakes? Quickly, mind math. Three. Are you sure? Three from one. One cake, you can cut it into three. But you have four cakes here. Uh, twelve. It's twelve, right? It's a, it's a very, yeah. So it's not four Advaya. You have four cakes. Each cake, you are making it into three pieces. Then only each size will be one by three, right? Yes, sir. Is it not? So you have four cakes here. And each cake you are making into three pieces. So you have totally twelve pieces. So we'll take one by three and we'll... Make it 3 by 1 and... Into 4. So, yeah. you know, like geometrically, you know what is happening. What is happening? Very simple. One cake, you are dividing into 3 pieces. How many pieces will be there? 3 pieces will be there. I have 4 cakes. Okay, 4 into 3. That is what geometrically happening. So, algebraically, how we do? Algebraically, this is actually, what is the question? Question is, how many 1 by 3's are there in 4? That is 4 divided by 1 by 3. So this question what we asked here is 4 divided by 1 by 3. You got it as 12. But algebraically how do you get it? Reciprocal. 1 by 3, you made it as 3 by 1. Because you know 3 pieces in 1 cake. How many cakes are there? 4 cake. 4 into so, the division of fractions is actually a very simple affair. Okay? Do this now. Yeah, why I am asking you to do? It's a bit tricky. But you make a diagram. Algebraically, it's very simple to do. I think it's 4. You make a diagram and show me. Should we draw a diagram or can we reciprocal 3 by 4, 4 by 3? Yeah, that is a very simple method. The algebraic method is very simple. 
Mine is uh, half ready. Uh, half ready. Full ready. So, yeah. So, what she has done? Three fourth. Yeah. So, now what she did is right. She took three fourth and there are three cakes. But then, Achu, there is that one fourth remaining in each of the cake. I have. Right? So, there is, there is that there is that one fourth remaining in each of the cake. So what you did is you told nine pieces. It is nine pieces of one by four, not three by four. We are telling how many three four pieces are there. Yeah, Manu, sure. It's very difficult to understand from her diagram. What is? There are twelve. One second, one second. So how many pieces you got it like Achun? Uh, sorry, Manu. I mean, like uh, this four. First ah. one is this three by four, three by four. Ah. Then second in the red, uh, it is three by four. Ah. The uh, then the fourth, the orange is also three by four. Ah. And yellow is also three by four. But how many pieces you got? How many three four pieces are there in three four. now? Four. Four are there. Okay. Are there anyone else who has done? Let me see. Okay, so you see why this is bit tricky. This is bit tricky because uh, you see now what are we asking? How many three by four size pieces can be bought from three cake? Okay, so now you see now three cakes. How many three four pieces are there in one cake? One. 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 What will be the remaining? Is there anything remaining? Yes. One by four. One by four will be remaining, right? So if you cut a cake into three fourth piece, three fourth of the cake, if you take, you have one fourth left. Do you agree? So if yes. you take three cakes, there are three three fourth cakes, but then you have one fourth each from each of the cake. So that three one by four, when you add, you get one more three by four. So you totally have four three fourth. Do you agree? What's the answer again? See, answer is one three by four, two three by four, three three by four. But then you have three one by fours. Three one by four when you add, it is three by four. Na? Uh -huh. Like you think you are cutting the cake. You got three big pieces of three four. But then you have three small one four, one four, one four pieces. So when you add all those, you get one more three by four. So you have four pieces. Right? But when you do algebraically, how you do it is very simple. Three by four, you make the ulta reciprocal of it. So three by three by four is three into four by three. Yeah. And you, you know how to do four, three into four by three. Three into four, twelve by three, twelve by three is four. So algebraic method is easier to do. But you should have the concept in your mind. Why are we doing so? So now you know why are we doing reciprocal? Because algebraically you know why it is done. What will be the size of the plots we get by dividing half acre into two pieces? The total land is half acre. You are cutting into two pieces. What will be the size of each piece? One by five. One one by four. Four. It's a very simple thing, right? Very simple stuff. The site itself is half. You cut it into half. So each of will be two, one by four. Right? So what did we actually do? So we will it? do one by two reciprocal into two. So two into two will be four. Yes, you see, actually what did you do? You were actually dividing one by two into two pieces. The question is, you are dividing 1 by 2 into 2. So 1 by 2 by 2 it is. But geometrically you can straightforward get it. If you divide 1 by 2 into 2, you get 1 by 4. Right? Algebraically how you do? 1 by 2 by 2. So how you, uh, how you multiply this? 1 by 2 into what? What is the reciprocal of 2? 1 by 2. So reciprocal of 2, if you want, if you have a doubt, what you can do, 
This two you can write as two by one. Because two by one is two itself. Two you can write as two by one. So the reciprocal of two by one is one by two. Okay. So what are you doing? You are dividing half with two by one, which is you can multiply one by two with the reciprocal of two by one. Reciprocal of two by one is one by two. You get one by four. So algebraically also you get one by four. Geometrically also you get one. So there is nothing I'm in not the. You didn't understand it. Okay. Do you understand this? One half. by two, one by four. I understood. Yeah, so Definitely. half acre we are dividing into two equal pieces. You get one by four, right? Yes, sir. So this is the geometric picture of it. Now we are seeing algebraically how you do it. So what is the question? Half divided by two. What is the answer? Is what we are somebody is asking. Okay. So when you divide a fraction, what you do? You multiply with the reciprocal of it. Is it not? I didn't get to know what is a reciprocal. Reciprocal is what we did previously. Three by three by four. How we did it? Three into four by three. Ulta of the fraction. Hmm. Why do you have to do it ulta? Because why are we doing it? That is what we try to do it here. Why are we doing it? See. How many half acre plots can be made from one acre land? So in one acre, by looking at the diagram, you get you know that there are two half acre plots, right? Mm. Now algebraically you want to find out one divided by one by two. You know the answer is two. Yes. But how do you get two? You get two because you are you know that you are making two divisions. Of one acre, mm. one acre. You are making two divisions. That is how each piece is one by two. What mm. is the question here? One divided by one by two. What does it mean? What is the question? You are asking if I divide a plot into two pieces, how many pieces will be there? If you divide something into two pieces, there will be two pieces only, right? Mm. The answer is there in the question itself. Yeah, in the denominator. Yeah. yeah. So now, when you tell us you are dividing something by two, it, that two will go to the denominator, right? Mm. So, but when you divide, what are you asking? How many pieces will be there? Two pieces. So, the denominator is the answer. Mm. So that is why you do the ulta of this. So that one by two becomes two by one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I understand. Okay. Same thing here also. So you are dividing one acre into four pieces. That is what is meant by one by four. You are asking in one, how many one by fours are there? What is the actual question? If you divide a cake into four pieces, how many pieces will be there? Question is the answer is there in the question itself. Four pieces. Right? Okay. So now, so the algebraic method for dividing a fraction is you multiply with the reciprocal or ulta of it. 4 divided by 1 by 3, 4 into 3 by 1. Okay? Yes, sir. Understood. 3 divided by 3 by 4, 3 into 4 by 3. So now here, we are trying a different stuff. You know, we are trying to divide a fraction with an integer. Half divided by 2. You are trying to divide half into 2. So what are you asking? In half, how many twos are there? Right? In half, yes. how many twos? So in other words, you are telling if you divide half into two, what will be the size of each of the piece? So you know it is one by four. If you divide half into two, you will get one by four. If you divide half into four, you get one by eight. If you divide half into eight parts, you get one by sixteen. Straightforward. But algebraically, how you do? 1 by 2 into reciprocal of 2. Reciprocal of 2 is 1 by 2. So it is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. You get 1 by 4. Both methods yield the same result. Okay? Right. Yes. So now this is the question. 
what would be the size of the plots we get by dividing 3 by 4 acre into 3 equal pieces? Do it quickly. The land is 3 fourth of an acre. You are dividing it into 3 equal pieces. If you are smart, by looking at the problem, you will get the answer. 1 by 4. It's a very simple stuff. Adwaya is a geometrical thinker. You see? He thinks one like, like a harvish. So, because in 3 by 4 means what? 3 by 4 is 3 1 by 4. So, we are asking in 3 by 4, how many? If you divide it into 3, how many will be that? It will be 1 by 4. It's a very simple, straightforward stuff. But if you yeah. do geometric. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. I did reciprocal and uh, cut, uh, so three, uh, I cut three and three. Three by four? Yeah, the, it will be one. Yeah, so correct. Four into one. You are correct. And you, you are correct. What you did is also correct. So geometrically, three fourth, you divide into three, each piece is one by four. Simple. Algebraically, how you do? 3 5 by 4 by 3 means 3 by 4 into reciprocal of 3. Reciprocal of 3 is 1 by 3. So it is 3 by 4 into 1 by 3. So this we have learned before if there are common fractions like simplify we did yesterday. So 3 and 3 can cancel. So it becomes 1 by 4. Or you can write it as 3 by 2 and then also it becomes 1 by 2. Any method you do, you get the same answer. Some problems. See, Niranjana, what you have to think, you have to always cross-check your answer. Always you have to cross-check your answer. So your whole piece itself is half. Half you are dividing into six pieces. So it won't be two, na? It won't be two, na? The piece which you have, so that's not really. So always after doing the problem, you should cross-check the answer. So apply common sense, apply logic. So your piece is half. If you divide half into uh, six pieces, each piece won't be 12. No? It, each piece won't be bigger than half, right? So it is half divided by six can be half into one by six. So it is one by 12. So how did Adil get three? Adil? Sir, I did six divided by yeah, You did? You did half into six. Oh, yes, half into six. <laughs> right? You did half into six. You can't do half into six. It is half by six. So meaning of half by six is what? Meaning of half by six is, I have a half piece of a cake. Now six of my friends have come. I have to cut and give it to six people. So each person will get one by two. What is meaning of half into six? Half into six is, I have six cakes. What is half of it? That is three. Okay. So that difference you should understand. Is it the same problem? 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 It's just like the like first same? one is half. Half is it the same problem? Half divided by she asked a very good question. Half divided by six and six divided by half. Is it the same problem? One of you, please tell. Is it the can same I problem? say? Can I say? Yes, yes, yes. So in here, in the first question, it is saying how many, like how many six like if we have one by two, when we divide it into six, how will one get? In the second thing, like how if uh, like how many one by two is in six? Yeah, see, this half by six is, I have half a piece of cake. Six friends have come. Now I have to divide this half into six pieces and give to each person. So each person will get one by twelve. Second problem is I have six cakes. I have six cakes. Now I have to give half half cakes to different people. How many pieces I can, how I can make? How many half piece cakes I can make out of six? I can make 12 pieces, right? Okay. 
If I have six cakes, I can make 12 half pieces, na? So six divided by 12, six divided by half is six into two by one. Reciprocal of one by two is two by one. So now the rest of the problems in this slide, you have to do at home. Okay, these two problems, take it and do at home. Tell me this, how many half uh, one by four acre plots can be made from half acre land? Four. No, no. Actually, Half, what, sir. Is Half. 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 what is the question? Question, read it. How many, how many one by four acre plots can be made from half acre land? It will be one by two, sir. Think. Actually, it is one by two. Think. Think. Is it two? Think. Think. Yeah, she's the only guy who's oh. thinking. Is it two? You make a small drawing. Make a small drawing. Half acre, half. And see how many one by four you can made up, make up of half. Someone is so confident Uncle, about the answer. Uncle, I am very really confident about the answer. You told one by two, Malu. Yeah. How is it one by two? See. What is this here? See, same thing which we did before. This is half acre. How many 1 by 4 is there in half here? Oh, I thought that how many 1 by 2 is in 1 by 4. Ah, you are thinking yeah. reverse. Yeah, I was thinking reverse so that I got 1 by 2. Yeah, that is a problem. I am, I am asking how many eggs are there in this omelette. You are telling how many omelettes can be made out of this egg. <laughs> what are different? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, this is a very simple problem we did before. See, you see, what was the previous problem we asked? Half acre, if you divide it to two, what will be the size of one? So, half divided by two was one by four. Now, we ask the problem reverse. In half, how many one by fours are there? You see, 1 by half divided by 1 by 4 is 2. Previous problem was half divided by 2 is 1 by 4. Remember yesterday's problem? Half into A is equal to what? 5 into 2 is equal to 10. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 10 into 5 is 50. 50 by 10 is 5. That's why multiplication and division have opposite actions. Right? So here also, half divided by 1 by 4 is 2. Half divided by 2 is 1 by 4. So half divided by 1 by 4, if you do algebraically how it is, you take the reciprocal of 1 by 4 is 4 by 5. 1 by 2 by 2, we got 1 by 4 before. 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 4, you get 2. Algebraically, 1 by 2 by 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 into 4 by 1. Very simple. Fraction, if you want to divide, multiply with reciprocal. Okay. One more problem I will do. Same like before. Same problem we did before. We asked... 3 by 4, if you divide into 3, what will be the size of a land I asked before? Same thing we are asking in a different way. In 3 by 4, how many 1 by 4s are there? It is 3. Right? How many 1 by 4 acre plots can be made from a 3 by 4 acre? So 3 by 4 by 3 is 1 by 4. 3 by 4 by 1 by 4 is 3. Okay? Algebraically, how you do? 3 by 4 into 4 by 1. So you get. Okay. So with that, I will give this homework and complete. You can take this screenshot and go. One more set of problems uh, after this slide. That's also his homework. 1, 2, 3. You want a clue? You can ask. 